Hey guys, I have my HHC, which is Hella Handmade Creations haul. I only purchased these two polishes here. I'm going to apply this topper. I felt like it would complement both of them. Not to all of them. We'll see. It's in Patronus from Starly. Um, if you don't know, HHC is like limited edition for indie brands and it's only available for a short period of time. I don't know if it's like three days up to a week or something. I'll link their website down. It might be going on, if not now, soon. Uh, so this is Sassy Cat's Lacquer in Kissy Kissy. I was a little hesitant to get this because I was nervous that it would look just like a gray cream because I didn't know if the shift was going to be strong enough. So it is a gray polish with a purple shift to it. I don't know what it was inspired by. I don't remember. Like you could see it right here and kind of as you move it, but let's hope for the best. Oh, let me show you. I did just open these, but I haven't swatched them yet. You could kind of, there's a little bit of a shift. We'll see. And then I have Patty Lopez Polish. It's Christmas Town. I know this one was inspired by Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a blue Crowley with, they're all matte glitters, white, the black, and the black stars. I'm really liking these stars, glitters, and polish. I don't see too many in there. Hopefully they're just hiding. <laughs> but I believe this one is a thinner formula, somewhat sheer buildable, where I can apply the topper, but we'll see. I do have the Pilly Base Coat on, so I'm gonna swatch it on my left hand only, and I'm gonna start with Sassy Cat here. I am... Mm. I'm just seeing, normally I work in like thinner coats, like three, I don't mind. So I'm just seeing what I'm going to use. What is that? I hope the pilly base was dry enough. Let me wipe the brush. I have a napkin right here. I'm just going to wipe the brush. So I'm gonna apply that one on my pinky pointer and my thumb, and then on my ring and middle, I'll apply this Christmas Town. Now I don't know what exactly from Christmas Town it was inspired by. Like I don't know if that's the snow or what. All the glitters are going away. I can't stand that when I'm watching someone swatch and they swatch them all away. I'm just like, no, <laughs> but it's, it's usually builds up with each layer. Okay. So here is another swatch. Hopefully we get a star. It's a very thin, nice formula. I like it. You know what it kind of reminds me of? The base of... No, I guess the other one's more purple from Sinful Colors, that Winnie collection. And it almost looks like it's drying matte. See how this one's, the pinky's glossy? I don't remember. <laughs> If it was, I mean, I don't mind either way if it's semi matte, matte, or glossy. You could always just add toppers to change it. Now, this one, it's definitely like not gonna be sure where I could layer this, so I'll just add it as a topper on one or two of them. This looks kind of wet. I'm gonna wait a second for that because I don't want to pull 
if you don't let the pilly base dry long enough, it's just going to pull and be a mess. So I don't want to do that. Okay. So you could see the shift there. But it's pretty subtle. Like if you hold your hand back. <laughs> I'll see when I'm done. Alright, let's go ahead and apply the topper. I'll just apply it on the one finger. I don't know if you guys can hear noise in the background, but it is pouring rain and windy. But I received my HHC order, I want to say two days ago, and I'm going to swatch it and do this now. Look at that. I'm liking it already. I don't know how many coats I'm going to do of them. We shall see. So here is the second coat of Christmas Town. All of these glitters. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. Oh, I like missed this whole side. Not anymore. Hopefully that was in frame. But there's two coats. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put three. And I'm going to apply the second coat of Sassy Cats. My elbow is a little irritated, so it's kind of awkward doing this position with my swatch. <laughs> we were at the trampoline park and I fell. <laughs> like, it's like that rug burn on my elbow, my arm. I was like, dang, I was running and acting all wild. <laughs> So there's two coats. This is like perfect with two coats. Now let's start the first coat on my thumb. But it's not one to layer with, especially with this. You might be able to see. I'm, I mean like the with the starly one. You might be able to see a uh, Maybe a black? I don't see why not. Okay. Now I am going to apply another layer of Christmas Town to my ring finger. I don't want it to be too thick. Oh, look, there's a star. And you could always like fish for it and place it, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna add another layer of the top or two after this, but you could see it peeking through for sure. Oh yeah, I have one more finger <laughs> to do. I'm gonna put a pretty thick coat Yeah, I really want to find a star topper. That would be awesome. I know more brands are coming out with some polishes with stars in them, I feel like. But they have like different types of glitter. You can see it's kind of textured and uneven but the top coat should fix that but i like it 
I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and apply another coat of the top of my ring finger. Even this, just like that, is fine. What do you think? Should I add another layer of the polish? I'm going to, just to see. Um, let's do my thumb. I know I'm jumping around, but honestly, this is how I do it. Let's do a pretty thick layer here. I'm trying to make sure no streaks appear. But it looks like it's self-leveling too. And you can see that shift right there in the middle, the shimmer peeking through, but it is pretty subtle. Oh, can you see it from there? I'll show you from a different angle in a minute. All right, so what do you think? Should I add it? Yeah, I'm gonna add another. Mm. So with this one, on the gray, I mean, you could do this with any gray. It doesn't have to be this one. I'm gonna just dab some on the tip. And then the, the topper will help smooth that out too. Let me dab a little bit more over here. And then I think I'm gonna dab some on my thumb as well. <laughs> Where should I leave my thumb alone? No, I'll do my thumb. I convinced myself it's just a little wet. I'm gonna move these over. I just don't want to smear it. Let's see what happens. Just gotta move quick, you know? And like lightly, lightly dab. Okay. Let's see. Let me go ahead and add a top coat really quick and see how it all comes together. I have my regular Sekhi top coat. I was searching for like a really quick drying top coat that is also long lasting and I found this one and I love it. But I don't even care for long lasting anymore just because I polish my nails so often Normally, I would go at least two weeks with them and then polish after that. Or if they were like too chipped. But I try to protect them as much as possible when I do dishes, I wear gloves. I just haven't been applying as much cuticle oil as I should. So I feel like they are a little weak. At the moment. And they keep breaking. Nice.
could have done without getting Sassy Cat. Was it called Sassy Cat? Just because it is, the shimmer is pretty subtle. And if I want a similar effect, I could just get a regular gray in my collection already. But I do love grays, I have a lot. And put the topper. Oops, dang it. Let's just kind of dab this smooth. See, I don't wait. So what happens when you're impatient? <laughs> you smear, is the lighting changing? So that's what happens when you're impatient. So you know what I do. I don't remove it. Mm -mm. I cover it up more. I'll get the topper and dab on that. Oh, look at that. It's not messed up anymore. What? Is it? Yeah, it still looks kind of messed up. <laughs> All right. Let's just see what's going on before I keep messing with this. So this is it. So the pinky sassy cat true to itself. You can see the purple shimmer. You could definitely see it. It's just, it is subtle. And then my middle is the original Patty Lopez. And the ring finger has the topper. So does my pointer. Just kind of dab it on the edge. Oh my goodness, that looks <laughs> wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and add the topper. Look at, you see how much is there? It's like clumping. Here we go. Let's put a thick, clumpy top coat and see what happens. <laughs> oh God, oh, like it's just covering the whole thing. It looks beautiful. I'm wiping off the brush on my napkin over here. Yeah. Okay, let's just smooth that out and act like it's fine. <laughs> Obviously, it's not the best work, but that's what happens when you apply, when I apply thick layers and I don't wait for it to dry versus like um, these were thinner. Even the middle had a pretty thick top layer. But see the difference if they're thick and how, how you work quicker. Because these were, the pinky was pretty thin and so is a ring finger. And I decided to clump it on and not wait. Lesson learned. Yeah, I feel like Sassy cat. I mean, I'm going to keep it because it's great, but to spend that money on something, I would prefer to spend on something more unique and different that I don't have in my collection. I mean, I don't have anything with the purple strip like that, and that's why I wanted it, but it's very, very subtle. Like, can you, well, you could kind of see it. Can you see the shift? Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry I messed up my thumb, but I'm a human, and humans mess up, and I'm impatient. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.